Hello daydreamers, this is Carolina from daydreamingtoreality.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make beautiful outlines and shadows for images that are inside Cricut Design Space. If you have an SVG file or a font that you bought and that is installed in your computer, also known as system fonts, please check out my part one and part two of this series because the method I'm about to teach you is not efficient for those sort of images. In those two videos, I teach you how to make outlines for any SVG file that you download around the web. And also I teach you how to make multiple outlines and shadows or again, any SVG file you own. And on the second video, I teach you how to make borders and shadows with fonts that you buy and that you have installed in your computer. In today's video, we're going to see how to do outlines for images that are part of Cricut's library. Here's the thing. Pretty much you can find anything online, any font, any image, but what if you really like something from Cricut Design Space and you want a shadow for that sort of font? This is the way I would do it, efficient way to do it, because if you check my videos or the article I'm going to leave down in the description, you can get beautiful and perfect, crispy, round outlines and here's a little bit more complicated because Cricut doesn't offer that option yet. Can we please, Cricut, if you watch this video, can you add how to do borders to Cricut Design Space? Now, let's continue. First, we're going to do an image. I already know what is the image I want. I'm going to be using this kitty. So this is the cat. And what we're going to do is create a copy of the cat. And for this copy, we are going to hide all contours. I only want the kiss silhouette. Perfect. The next step is to have a color for a kitty that has a big contrast and I'm going to create an outline for my kitty here's the problem let me bring my kitty down this layer down or this layer up there you go here's the problem if I try to increase the size of the kitty it's not gonna grow proportionally to have a perfect outline that is a big problem but what we can do is to create an outline by making multiple cop copies and then welding them. You can follow the same concept with any image you want. I find the kitty is a good example, but you can apply. Depending on the image, you may need more copies, you may need less. It's really for you to find out as you go. Now, I'm going to be making an outline. And so I like to start first with four copies. I have my four copies here and I have to make sure the kitty is on the front and I'm going to send it to the front. Then I'm going to select all layers and I'm going to align them center. Perfect. Now from here you cannot be moving your kitty to, I mean if you click here you're always going to select the kitty and we need to select the outlines. So first we are going to start moving one kitty to the left to create the left side of the outline slightly to the left. You can use the arrow keys to start moving them to the left and to the right. Perfect, that looks good to me. 
Now I'm going to move the second kitty, step on the second one, and I'm going to move it slightly to the right. Now the, the other kitty, I'm going to move it a little bit up, kind of like to feel the ears. And then this, the last kitty, I'm going to move it slightly to the bottom. That looks good to me. And when you're done moving each one to the left and to the right, you can move the kitty. And there you have it. It's a rough outline. And then you select all of the kitties. And then you are going to weld them. Now here you have the beginning of the outline. Let me move my outline up. It's looking pretty good, right? However, I can see that the ears here are really ugly and there is a little problem here in the kitty's tail. So what I'm going to do right now is to isolate these ears and for that I'm going to create another copy of the kitty and use contour again. Oh. So duplicate, I'm going to hide all contours now. And I'm going to turn it yellow again. Now I'm going to just get the ears from this kitty. And to do that, I'm going to use a square. And slice. Perfect. I'm going to delete everything except, except this layer that has the kitty's ears. I'm gonna copy and paste it so I can just have the left and the right ear and I'm gonna use contour to hide these two parts. Let me show you how. Now I'm gonna hide the body and also this one and now I'm gonna have my left ear. And here I'm gonna use contour again and I'm going to hide everything but the right ear. Perfect. Now let me zoom in so you can see better. Now I'm going to place, I'm going to increase the size of each ear so it blends with the other kitties. And I'm going to smooth out this tail too because it doesn't look good to me. And to do that, I'm just going to use a regular circle. Take your time here because sometimes uh, you could do more harm than good. So I'm going to do a nice circle here. That it covers everything. Perfect. I see that this part over here is also a little bit rough. I'm gonna clean it up with another circle. All of these things that we did, the ears and the two circles and the two circles to smooth out the edges look good to me. Every time you do this, sometimes things will change. Sometimes things will look better or not. And you'll have to do some cleanup with other shapes. Now, let's select all the kitty and let's weld it. Perfect. We see that our ears look good now. And now, if we want a perfect a solid outline, we can use contour and hide these little pieces inside. And now let's place our kitty on top. There you have it, a nice outline for a kitty. As I said, it's not 100% perfect, 
but gets the job done if you really like an image from Cricut Design Space. This really wouldn't work if your image is very complex though. It will take a lot of work. I mean, you can do it little by little, piece by piece, but it will work perfect for them, for these sort of things. Now, what if you want to do, let's hide this. What if you want to do some text? Let's tag the word dream because, right? We like to dream a lot in this channel. And I'm going to use the font A Frightful Affair. What if you want to do an outline for this word? Again, I would create copies. So what I do is that I prefer to create a bunch of copies and then delete what I didn't need. Let me make a final copy. Now I'm going to align this center and I'm going to make sure that this one um, is on the front. So right click on it and send it to the front. Now let's align this center again. Okay? And I'm going to zoom in as much as I can so I can show you how to do this. First, I'm going to start with the first layer. As you can see, I have all of my copies here. So I've always liked to move first to the left. And even something like that could look like a simple shadow or outline. But if you want something that is completely smooth, then I like to go to the right. That looks good to me. And this font eh, is really um, thick. So sometimes I, what I do is that I go up and then left. And then here I'm going to go up and right. And then this one I'm going to go down and left. And now here I'm going to go down and to the right. Do you see that? It looks pretty good to me. It works great when they're like a square fonts like this one. Now I'm going to select all of these ones and click on well. Let it bring it to the top here. It looks really good. It looks even better than when I did the tutorial on my website. However, you can see that the M here has a little problem. It doesn't look too good, right? But don't worry, we can fix that really easy. How can we fix it? Just with a triangle. We can add a triangle to the canvas. Then we can rotate it 180 degrees. So it's completely like this. And let, let's move this. Let's make it little, little, little. And then we can kind of like place it on top and then we can weld and now we have our M. Now I want to show you that sometimes there is also rough spots here. And that's what I'm telling you that it's not always going to be perfect in this method. It's not super smooth. Do you see the A here? It has all these little areas here that, I mean, that doesn't look really good, but you can take your time and with squares, clean up all that roughness. Let's make this small. And you can sort of move it like this and then try to clean up as much as you can. Zoom in so you can see very well. Perfect, now I'm gonna repeat this one on the other side. And if you look at my article, you're gonna see that the changes I had to do there were different than here because 
every time it depends the way you move your layers to the left or to the right. This is, I mean, this process is different for any design that you do, but the concept is the same. Now let's select again everything and let's click on well. You see, now the A looks better to me than the way it looked before, don't you think? You can repeat the same process here uh, for the R in other rough spots that you don't want them to be there. I'm going to bring this again to the top. And let me zoom out and place it in the front. And then if you want to hide in the spaces of the D and the R, just use the contour tool and hide them. Perfect. Don't you think? I think that's pretty good. What if you want to use a cursive font? Let's try that. I already know the font I want to use. It's called Babbitt. I don't know. That's a weird name for a font. Don't you think? And remember that we have to fix our cursive font first. So I'm going to do it real quick and then I'll show you how to make an outline for a cursive font. Here we have our cursive font. Now I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do a bunch of copies and then I'm going to delete whatever I don't need. Let's bring this to the front and then now let's align center. Let's start with the one right underneath the original text. I'm going to move to the left. Now this one I'm going to move to the right. This one I'm going to move a little bit to the top and then to the left. And then this one to the top and then to the right. And sometimes it doesn't look 100% perfect. So I have to kind of like select it on my own, but do you see how it gets deselected? It's very annoying sometimes. Let me bring it to the top and then to the right. Let me just get it all here and now I'm going to place it on my own. Now I'm going to do the other one, bottom and then to the left. And I see that I have to do this one very manual. Oh, dang it. It's just in Adobe Illustrator, there is a way for you to lock a layer so it doesn't move when you are editing around. And it's the best thing ever. Now I'm going to get this one and move it. I'm going to select this one and then move it. You see, it's so annoying this. I get into a lot of fights with Cricut Design Space. I love my Cricut so much. But if you guys want something that is like really meant for design, I would do something different than Cricut. I mean, if you want to like get your skills up, super up and top notch now i think this looks pretty good to me i've been just moving around layers and layers to see how i like to organize 
to make as much as I can, I mean. To make my outline as smooth as I can. But as I told you, this method is not 100% perfect. I think this is good. I, th I didn't... I didn't use one of the copies, but in total I used one, two, five, six, seven, eight copies. The more copies you have, the smoother your outline is going to be. I'm going to move the original design and now I'm going to weld this. Perfect. Let's move this to the top here. And now we have kind of like a rough outline. And what we're going to do is to smooth this out with circles, squares. Let's first use contour and hide all contour so we are distracted. We're not hide all contours. So we can just focus on what matters. So I'm going to speed this up so you guys can see all the things that I had to do in order to make a smooth outline out of this. There you go, this looks good to me. Now let's see how it looks when we weld it. I mean, you really have to make sure that everything is curving well and is going smooth because even when you weld, sometimes things can still look pretty rough. So let's select this and let's weld. There you go, I think I did a pretty good job. As I told you, it's not 100% perfect, but I mean, if you really want an outline in Cricut Design Space, for me, this is the best way to do it. You can take more time and go around these edges more and more if you want something 100% smooth and beautiful. But I think I got the point across. The more time you take, the better it would look. I think this looks pretty good to me. What do you guys think? These are the three things we did today. We did like regular font, cursive font, and then a simple image. You can replicate this with other images or fonts. The idea behind this method is to have your original layer and then to have multiple copies anywhere between 4 and 10 and 10 and move them to the left and to the right to the top bottom and then try to align them to create a border around them and then smooth them out with circles or squares and I mean whatever fits your your design uh, with the kitty you saw we did the contour to separate the ears it's not as an exact science, but hopefully it gets you to the point where you feel empowered to do outlines for any image you want. Anyway, you guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning with me. Make sure that you check out part one and two because they're just those methods will give you perfect outlines. Before I leave, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss notifications. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!